Yeah, 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 yeah. Rockstar when I pop out with metal Red bottom like I dance with the devil Snakes up in their grass, shit is several What's up divas? What's up divas? Hi! Oh my god, great to see you! Your girl is back for another video I hope you're having like an amazing day. Stay and stay, minding your own business, not allowing nobody to get on your nerves, girl. That's what I was thinking. I am excited to try this wig out because I have had it styled for like a few weeks now. No, security! But this is one of my favorite wig companies, you guys. I've worked with them many times um, before. Sister company to RPG show. This one right here is for my first wig. If you guys are not aware of them, I'll definitely leave all the information below. You can YouTube their name and you'll see plenty of videos come up but their wigs cater to more uh beginner friendly you don't really have to be a beginner friendly person to try their wigs or order their wigs they cater to everybody but they make them a little bit more simple and just less work for anybody and who don't like less work with further ado we're gonna jump right into this video and i'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes. when you receive your unit from my first wigs you receive it in their black standard packaging which states quality wig for beginners You'll also see a disinfected sign on it. The unit has been packaged with care along with gloves. You'll also receive in your packaging an adjustable black elastic band which can be removed, some hair clips, bobby pins, and along with that, if you do decide to purchase extra amenities, make sure that you check out their flyaway hair tamer which is really great for pressing hair and allowing a smooth finish. Your items will come in a small pouch which states my first wig and this will hold an elastic band a two-piece wig cap set and a styling comb for your unit my first wigs will also provide an instructional pamphlet along with that your unit will come in one of their quality wig bags the unit that I received is virgin Indian hair and is 16 inches in length. As you guys can tell from the hair, it's very healthy and is easy to wear straight out of the package. My first wigs will provide a pre-bleached unit which means that you can put this on as soon as you receive it. I went ahead and just did a little pre-bleaching for about 5 to 10 minutes and I also pre-plucked just a little bit but it does come pre-plucked for you but I like just to make it look more or less like my own hairline. Make sure you check out my first wigs. I'll provide their information below as they have many different units to choose from and I'm sure you'll find something there for you. This wig is going to be something easy. I bleached some of the knots, even though it comes semi-bleached for you, I've already went ahead and bleached more. That's only because I like for it to look as natural as possible. And also I went ahead and pre-plucked a little bit more because I just like that to look as natural as possible. You know what I'm saying? But I did style this wig, curl it like weeks and weeks ago. And I'm really hoping that the curls are not too tight because I did leave the pins in the hair. Further ado, we're gonna get into this video. In case you guys are wondering where the shirt came from, this is from a company called Lovely Wholesale. And I'll link their information below, but it is a t-shirt, but it's not like the regular type of t-shirt material. It has like a stretch to it. They have some really nice t-shirts and I love the art on this one. So I'll link the information below. I have like two others of these. Just really cute t-shirts. And y'all know how I feel about t-shirts. So let's just jump into this video. Rockstar when I pop out with metal. Red bottom like I dance with the devil. Snakes up in their grass, shit is silver. Get do this Mac Pro, I can't wrestle, nah. Rockstar when I pop out with metal. Red bottom like I dance with the devil. Snakes up in their grass, shit is silver. Get do 
name is Matt Pro. I can't wrestle now. Uh -huh. Demons are watching me. Uh -huh. Demons they after me. Uh -huh. Demons they watching me. Demons they all right, guys, so let's get into this wig by my first wigs, you guys. So as I stated, it already comes pre-bleached and pre-plucked. The hairline is thinned out, so that way you don't have to really do anything. But you know your girl likes to be extra, so I did bleach the unit a little bit more for about 10 minutes, if that, only because it was just a tiny little spot of speckles, and I really, really wanted it to just be perfect. And then I went ahead and pre-plucked it only a tiny bit. You really don't need to, but I try to make it mimic my own hair hairline so that's the reason for that but with my first wigs they have quality wigs for beginners so honestly you don't have to be a beginner to wear one of their wigs they have many different units and they're definitely for everyone now this is a 13 by 6 and as I stated it does come with an elastic band which is very easily removable if you do like your wig to sit nice and tight without any type of glue or adhesive, then definitely use the black elastic band. This wig fit really nice and snug, so I didn't even have to use that. But I love my first wigs. They have the bombest wigs ever. Their wigs will like melt in your hair, girl. So this part right here is just me taking out some hairs. If I do choose to use any type of baby hairs or sideburn hairs, this is the reason for this. But it's also the main reason for me applying in my wig this is the way that I like to apply my wig because I don't use glue or anything like that I just use hairspray so what I'll do is I'll spray the hairspray underneath on the sides because that's where it'll lift the most so I definitely need a little bit of extra hairspray on the sides and I'm using the bed head but I also like to use the got to be glam force in the pink can which kind of works the same as this one here but I also will spray on the outer side on the sides as well as on top I'll just spray on the top and sometimes I'll spray underneath if I really want to but yeah the hairspray is amazing it's an easy cleanup you don't have to worry about any glue being messy just take you a little paper towel or a wet wipe and wipe away like you see me doing here but the main thing is to make sure that your hairline is clean prior to applying your wig and now that I've had that applied or you know hairspray down girl I'm gonna just take my rat tail comb and press down the sides so that way it will blow dry and it will be intact. But if you don't have a blow dryer, no biggie. Just spray in small sections at a time until it's dry. Now, every little tiny piece of lace does count. And you see how small this little piece of lace is? Well, it was kind of obstructing the lace from laying flat because it was on the tip of my ear. So I had to cut that away and just continue to spray and then blow dry. If you're wondering how long I can wear the wig with just applying hairspray, well, depending on your body chemistry, for me, it's probably like three days. Um, the only part that may lift will be the sideburn hairs, you know, but being that it's so hot out here, girl, I do not feel like wearing a wig overnight. Like, I really cannot sleep in the wig right now because it's too hot. So hairspray works for me. And if I do decide to wear the wig for just the day, I don't spray the entire um, vicinity of it. I only mainly spray like the sideburn hair and just directly in the middle. So this is the part right here where I'm gonna show you how I use my bed head just to sculpt the baby hairs. I do spray a little bit on the toothbrush and then I just brush down the hairs. The reason for this is because I really don't want the hair to be too hard. You know, I really don't like them stuck down like that, baby hairs. It's just, I just don't, you know? So spraying hair hairspray on the brush, your toothbrush or your styling brush and just brushing the hairs back kind of helps because the hair doesn't get too hard. I kind of only really want to focus at the root of the hair, which will allow the hair to stay in place. But the rest of the hairs, I just, you know, don't. So for this part right here, the reason why I have the elastic band on is because, because I just finished styling it and I just wanted to lay down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this out. I did apply heat to this many weeks ago and now I do see that the curls did not, they didn't fall and they definitely were not too tight. Thank goodness for that. But I am going to just kind of like spruce up some of the ends. So I'm just gonna use my, um, flat iron slash curler, whatever you want to call this thing. I do like this. I got it from Amazon. You can flat iron and give your hair a little bit of bump because it has a curve on the ends. So I do like, like this flat iron a lot. Um, you know, Amazon got everything, girl. But I'll just leave you guys with that and you know the rest from here. Is it too much to ask? A little conversation.
It actually came out nice. If I did forget to mention, this is Indian virgin hair. So as far as Indian, I like it. It doesn't really look any different versus Brazilian, but sometimes you can tell with Indian hair, like it'll look a little bit drier to me. That's my personal opinion. When I do Indian hair, it just looks a little bit drier. You know, I just brushed a little bit of the hairs in the front and just threw on my headband. I didn't want um, my elastic headband. I didn't want the hairs to stick down only because, you know, it just looks better if the hairs are kind of like flying away or kind of messy or tasseled. Yeah, like, you know, once you get used to like transparent HD Swiss lace, you just be wanting everything to melt into your skin, honey. So, I mean, I I'm going to say like a nine because honestly, the lace is not bad at all. Like you really can't see it. So I'm I'm going to say like a nine. I'll give them that. Plus the density is nice. It's nice and full. You know, the hair length, I think this is like 16, but the length is decent. The, the density is average. So, you know, you cannot go wrong with this wig. It's just a basic wig, you know. You can do different styles with it, but it's not something that's curly to where you have to, you know, just commit yourself to just wearing curly hair all the time. If you really want loose waves, you can do that. If you want a regular style, you can do that. So this is like a basic hairstyle wig where you can wear it, you can glam it up, you can unglam it up you know you can do like a whole bunch of stuff and the length is decent too so i will leave all the information down below you guys let me know what you think of this wig right here i will also leave the information down below for this t-shirt which is at lovelywholesale.com i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i gotta go clean these nails because white nails are really hard to keep clean everything just gets on them and that is not cool maybe i'll just like repaint over them but yeah, you guys, I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, like, like it, like it, like it. And stay diva and delicious. Stay blessed, stay cute, stay sweet. Don't let no one get on your last nerves. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Girl, man. Rockstar when I pop out with metal. Red bottom like I dance with the devil.